Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. If you like your rifles to be silly, this is the one for you. We are in Home SMG, yeah, home SMG Rifle Anti-Material U-S-P-S-A-E-C-I-A-L. It's pronounced U-Spatial. U-S-P-S-A-U-S-U-Spatial. This one is definitely special. What do we got here? It's chambered in 20 by 82 millimeter. That's the cannon round. That's this guy. This is 50 BMG. Yeah. It's big. We got all kinds of silliness going on here. It is break action in a very strange way. We'll check that out in detail in a second. We've also got custom sights. <laughs> Color coded. This thing is ridiculous. Let's check it out. Check out our weird controls on the U Spatial. There's a lot of th controls that don't actually work on this guy. Left on the trackpad will not change the safety. There is no safety on this, even though there was one built into the model and is indicated. Don't know what's up with that, but there's nothing on the trackpad at all. Here's how you open up the breech. Naturally, you grab the stock and pull back. And that releases <laughs> ah, releases the barrel load it in with single one at a time and to get that empty out you actually grab the charging handle and pull back to eject it yes all right to close this sucker up you can either flip it with physics let's see how hard that is that's not too bad or you can grab it here by the red foregrip area and Close your hands together and close it that way. Again, no safety. Yes, uh, the 20 millimeter rounds uh, only come in ex high explosive right now, so we really won't be able to see how accurate it is, at least on this range. There we go, that's better. Let's take a look at attachments. Well, it looks like we got a lot of rails. Big old top rail, got a bottom rail, got a left rail, got a right rail. Any back here? No. Okay, let's look at the barrel. It's actually relatively short barreled for an anti material rifle. Oh, look, we got, sorry, I almost missed those. It's got rails out there as well. One, one on the left, one on the top, one on the bottom, none on the right. Not one on the right is not there. Okay. So we could put a foregrip there. That's funny. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, muzzle brake. Muzzle brake will not go. Suppressor. Will not go. Uh, rail adapter will not go. Barrel extension will not go. Stock already has a stock sort of thing. Ah, no battle spatula. No battle spatula. Hmm. Well, okay. Yeah. Let's see. I want to see if you can grab this foregrip and close. Oh, yeah, that's what I was wondering. So if you put a foregrip on here, you cannot grab it to close. Yeah, you can't. Oh, no, foregrips don't work. I am grabbing this foregrippable area. I can take it on and off, but when I grab it, I cannot move the gun around. So foregrips are either broken or just don't work because it's got this weird physics going on. So something to know. Obviously, there's no adjustments on the stock because pulling back on the stock unlocks the breach. Let's take a look at sights. Well, we've got some flat rails up here. Let's see how we can do with just a flat. Well, actually, you won't be able to tell how we can do with a flat rail because of this. Yeah, well, if we had, whoops, I always do that the wrong way around. If we had actual jacketed rounds, might be able to tell, but we don't. So let's take a look at, actually, let's take a look at the iron sights that it comes with. This is the front sight. So let's put that out there. Let's put the rears here. Um, yeah, these are left and right sideways sights um can i put them on ah can i put them on the side rails here like that 
Aha! So I got Bren style sights, so that actually works okay. Yeah, that's much better. We also got this scope, sort of. Um, it is plastic internally, or at least it looks plastic. Basically, there is no magnification, there is no glass, there is no optics. It is a piece of plastic on one end and the other end, so you've got the aircraft, any aircraft kind of sights going on here. And you know what? They're not that bad. They are not really as good as you would hope, though. Let me tell you, this is a strange gun. Will it snipe? Well, we're going to have some problems here. Can we hit 5 out of 10 shots, getting a score of 5 or better at 400 meters? The problem is that this shoots a high explosive round. But, you know, let's give it a try here. I got the iron sights on it. Let's see what we get. Oh, I missed. We missed with the iron sights. Let's try it with the other sights. Yeah, this looks much better. No, it's still standing. We're having no luck. Let's see if we can get it with the optic. Hmm, shoots low. There we go. We finally got it. Doesn't seem super accurate. There you have it. The U is special chambered in 20 millimeter high explosive. Till next time. I will see ya. Ah. Oh well. Do you really have to hit it exactly? Oh, it's a floater.